Good morning guys and uh, welcome! Uh, today we gonna visit one of the top 10 best market halls in all of the world and uh, this one is called Östermalm Solhall and uh, it's located in one of the more fancy areas in Stockholm and uh, I think one of the articles that I read it placed number 7 and, uh, just for information uh, in Sweden due to climate in general um, markets uh, are located inside but it was started to build in 1888 I believe and there was 500 men building it and it took around six months and uh, the outside looks like this so the red building as you can see the brick one is the market hall and inside also to mention but in Sweden markets in general are more of a luxurious type it's not like if you travel Africa or Asia South America markets are in general a cheaper option but here it's different so if you visit a place like this you will have a prices that is a lot higher than the uh, traditional supermarket so I thought we were gonna go inside and see what they offer here I think there will be some kind of Christmas decorations it look, I mean Christmas coming up so and in Sweden Christmas is a big thing so uh, yeah let's enter and see what it looks like and here you can see the different places if there is anything special you're looking for and here is the blueprint of the house and I believe we are here at the red box. so uh, let's go in and see this is what it looks like So, uh, for more information, this place was pretty newly renovated back in 2020 and they kind of wanted to take it back to the original uh, design as it, as it was before because uh, back in 1888 uh, this was uh, tough to actually get people in this area and uh, they were building for 153 stalls and the market outside there is kind of a small square that was more popular because it was uh, free of, uh, of any fee so uh, the city decided to uh, ban uh, the option to sell things outside so they kind of forced the stalls to uh, to come in here instead so I think it took a few years and uh, this place was up and running and more than busy so uh, let's see what they offer I mean they have probably everything around here so this seems to be some kind of cheese place here I mean the variety of, of uh, meat and cheese and everything else that you can imagine is massive so in general if you want for example uh, anything like this ham or you uh, you purchase by weight so let's say you want 100 grams they will cut that for you and uh, give it to you in a small bag that you can bring home so all the items that you can find here are a little bit what should I say uh, a little bit more uh, luxurious than the ones that you find in a supermarket uh, so here up here you can see like a number on top of every store and the name of the place so here you can buy seems like food packaged and done so let's say uh, let's take this one uh, it costs you around ten dollars and you can bring home and I mean they have every option mashed potatoes or rice beef and of course you have some Christmas stuff as well all right let's continue um, Wow, here looks like some dessert I mean it doesn't really matter if you come here for food or if you come here for for a dessert they have it all and I think also it's pretty popular to come here to actually sit down they have a few restaurants as well uh, and they seem to be located kind of on the outskirts or along the walls and uh, the meat and dessert sections are more uh, in the middle and here we have a lot more of desserts wow check this out pistachio and lime as you can see the crisp this is actually fun fact in Sweden this is a pig 
and it's uh, marzipan inside uh, and they are often bought as a uh, Christmas gift and uh, kind of to give away if you come visit someone or something and here is some other fun stuff this is for Christmas celebration so a lot of kids have this uh, calendar inside so as you can see numbers here it's like a 3 and a 24 and 22 uh, there is a piece of uh, chocolate inside behind every of those uh, you kind of open a small what's the name small door I don't know uh, it's made out of paper anyway and you can buy I mean there are more fancy options and they are the cheap ones for kids you can buy for like up front of a dollar up to anything basically and every day you open uh, one from the 1st of December until the 24th and uh, you get like a piece of chocolate every day uh, until Christmas and what more do we have we have some more meat over here let's take for reference uh, you have a hundred dollars per kg over here and you have some kind of beef here for around $60 a kg so I mean these pieces in general over here uh, they are the better pieces that you won't find in your regular supermarket and uh, yeah let's continue and see what more we can find I mean there's a lot of cheese and a lot of meat and I haven't seen a fish section yet but I guess there are one too here seems to be one of the restaurants as you can see over here and I see something on the right side here which is something uh, typical Swedish if you're into shrimps this is something that you have to try uh, while you come visit doesn't matter if it's Stockholm or anywhere else in Sweden actually but uh, these salmon or uh, shrimp sandwiches together with some citrus or lime or anything like that they are actually pretty delicious I have to say so I must try uh, and they are often sold in one of these places uh, here's like a salad bar here we have like a fish section with like if you're into salmon here you have some nice pieces of course and some white fish probably cod or something I don't really know maybe and you have some smaller pieces over here uh, for soup it says all right here we have melanders I don't really know what this is maybe uh, at stall 43 or 44 I don't really know if that's I mean maybe this was actually from the original uh, when one kind of stall was this small so here you have some seafood it looks like uh, you have some crab and some oysters and this you have usually together with uh, champagne or any other more like Doria stuff here you have some big fish hey guys how are you <laughs> it looks some nice fish over here yes we do yeah I guess uh, this is some Swedish options that you won't find this is a salmon I guess this is salmon all this right. is cod all right and what's this one over here uh, turbot all right I think I think it's the Rolls Royce of fish the all turbot right. and the sole okay so what, what do you sell the most of over here is salmon uh, like the most popular salmon option is, yeah salmon is all very right. popular so this one would you consider to be uh, like a better option than the one in the supermarket I guess of course of course, of course. all right just because it's a bigger salmon the bigger the most tastier Oh, so the size uh, matters, yes, obviously. Yes, it does. The size matters. <laughs> all right, all right. Sounds good, sounds good. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and here you have some, uh, some crab, it looks like. It's from Ireland. This is, for your information, around 30, 35 US dollars, something like that, uh, per kg. And here, this one, actually, I have to mention, uh, it's like a burger option, but a seafood one these are very tasty I have to suggest to you if you're around the area it's like a lobster crispy lobster uh, and you have like a salmon bowl and these ones just uh, to be specific these ones are very tasty all right let's continue uh, we have 
I mean, it seems to be more of a seafood area over here. Wow, check this out. Here we have like a salmon roll. Uh, and these are around $90 per kg. And I mean, one kg of these is probably the whole plate fish. And this seems to be some... Uh, I don't know what that is though. I mean, they have everything in seed food option. I mean, here they have some lasagna made out of seafood. Uh, all right, let's see. It's very Christmas-like. I mean, the restaurants in here, uh, I don't really know the pricing, but as what I can see, it looks uh, pretty fancy. Probably delicious food as well. So, uh, I, I mean, I've been here eats once. Uh, it was more of a salad place. So maybe not one of the most luxurious places, but if you come here, you should probably eat meat or fish. Uh, here we have some vegetables, like a vegetable area. And yeah, let's walk over here. Here we have some more fish. It seems to be a very dense protein market. Let's squeeze through. Yeah, here I can see a lot of fish and some big ones. Here we have the one that she mentioned before. And of course the mandatory salmon. And we have... Wow, check this one out. It's a big uh, pig bar. And we have... Wow, check this one out. And this one also a large one. Pelleflundra. Really nice one, and this is cod. Yeah, looks beautiful. I mean, Christmas-wise, you can see the decorations. They have started to put up basically all over Stockholm nowadays. And it will be until probably after New Year. Uh, so if you come during Christmas time, it seems to be a nice place if you want the Christmas experience. Here you have some lobster, if you like. This is $110 a kg, something like that. And uh, I mean, they are probably delicious. You probably have to, to find the meat yourself or if you pay them to do it, I'm not really sure. Uh, but it it's, looks very beautiful in here, I have to say. It's, uh, it's a very nice place. Uh, what more can we find? I mean, you can see the architecture here, you even have a moose up here. Yeah. I mean, it's not a large place, as you can see. It stretches just until, yeah, you can see that's the far uh, end over here in the far distance. There are a few different entrances. Uh, I think three or four one in each corner. And uh, I guess depending on how often you're here, you probably know which one to use. Here is another delicacy thing. It looks like they have some cakes and stuff. Uh, this one you're probably familiar with. The best one. And it's written the princess uh, cake. Yes. Yes. One that's very popular. Looks like this, the green option. Yeah, you have basically everything that you want. And here you have the Christmas for... If you want that option. So, they're selling basically everything here, actually. But, as I said, the pricing is a lot higher than a normal supermarket, but you always, always uh, get the quality. So you get probably what you pay for. Um, let's see if we can find some last one. This is like a cheese section, it looks like. Uh, yeah. I haven't really tasted anything from here. I guess but it looks very delicious some of them I mean you can I'm not really a cheese professional but here you can probably buy per hundred grams it looks like so all these prices like six dollars seven dollars or for 100 gram so depending on here you have like I don't know some kind of jam uh, they use them for cheese sandwiches or uh, to some meats here we actually have some ice cream looks like Pistachio and some strawberry and some hazelnut. And here we have some more Christmas decoration. Here and here are the ones that I was telling you about. Here actually the same as we saw in the Christmas market. You have these options. 
Uh, and as you can see here, Grenna is actually the place where they are made uh, originally. So most of the shops here are buying them from that place, so they get the real deal. Um, I actually think that's uh, enough for today's market tour, I believe. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao!